turkeys with the ducks and the geese just because the turkeys kept getting into the ducks and the geese and just the way we have the, set, the fencing set up for right now before we move it just made sense and they're all doing well together. You can see they like to stick together in their own groups. The turkeys are all off here, the geese are right here, and the, tur uh, the ducks are right over here. And they just kind of, they get along, but they kind of stick to their own kind. And it's really cute. But they're happy, and they have a lot of space. And the chickens are on this side in their own fence. There's somewhere around 12 to 15 chickens. They're all hiding underneath their little chick shot here in the shade. They do have some shade from trees, but they do like to just hide under the chick shot and Drew built it intentionally that way so they could have space to go under and cool off. water so we're gonna get them some fresh it's all the ducks sticking together One tiny one and one that's got a bad. Hey, welcome to Hashley Family Farms on location today. We are transitioning our garden. Who knew you could move your garden? Uh, well, we're trying at least, we'll see if it works. But we started our garden early this spring, but before we managed to get it into the ground, our house sold. So we transitioned all of our plants from inside the house into temporary pots and buckets, and we're gonna see what grows. So starting over here, I actually have three roses that a sweet friend um, dug up out of her yard when she was re-landscaping her yard and gave to me. And so this is right here too. Yep, there's three of them, and they had no blooms on them when she gave them to me. So they're thriving in the bucket, and I am super excited and I'm just gonna save those to plant somewhere at our new place. So Drew read that planting asparagus and strawberries together helps them to thrive in future seasons. So we have about three pairs of strawberries and asparagus, asparagus <laughs> together. And that's what that one is. And then this white bucket is Brussels sprouts and they look like they need to be spread farther apart. If you look in this little raised bed, this is my mother-in-law's raised bed. We actually gifted her some of our plants because we didn't have enough room. She has them spread out nicely. And I think that's what I need to do with that white bucket. Drew and I replanted the lettuce. You can see these little tiny green things coming up. Drew planted maybe a week ago. And then I replanted the lettuce in these other beds just yesterday. So we're waiting for some fresh lettuce to come up. And then in these last two buckets, see if I can get around. Are more strawberry and asparagus. Or sad strawberries. Yeah, the strawberries look like they might need some love. But the asparagus is actually coming up right here. Isn't that so cool? It's actually a stalk of asparagus. So one of the really great things about being able to do this in the buckets like we did is it is super easy. We can throw, throw them in the trailer, which is what we did to get them here at my parents' house where they're gonna be until we actually move here. And it's super easy. You put, you know, a little over half full, we're almost two thirds full in the bucket full of dirt. And then you put the plant in, you make sure it has enough space. If it's gonna be a larger plant, obviously you wouldn't plant more than one in it like we did. So don't do what we did. <laughs> we'll spread those out. And then you just come out, you make sure that the soil stays damp, uh, has enough water. You don't wanna overfill it so that uh, it's full of water at the bottom, but you just water it just enough so that 
the soil stays, you know, damp and not dry and your plants will grow. I mean, this is working. They were all small plants when we started them in these buckets and they're thriving even though they're confined to a plastic bucket. We didn't have to drill holes in the bottom for drainage. Um, we didn't have to do anything special. And th the next best thing is that we have not had to do hardly any weeding in them other than I think one or two times we pulled like a random weed out when one of the buckets was close, I think, under the bird feeder. I wonder if yeah. that's where that came from. Also, pest control. Mm -hmm. We've had no bugs, but the yes. raised beds right next to our plants are struggling with some like worm or bug. Uh, my mother-in-law's trying to actually get rid of it. So we've had no problem with that so far. Other than our poor strawberries, everything is thriving yep. and is really low maintenance, which is thankful because moving is not low maintenance. So at least the garden is this year. Sorry for the camera work there. I just tripped on my flip-flop. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, where our setup's going to be. We'll keep you guys up to date on it as we get fully moved in and everything uh, hopefully grows and you know hopefully later this fall and winter we'll actually get some strawberries I think there were two actual strawberries that were growing they were tiny um, they were there. but yeah other than that uh, apparently the mail trucks here in the background which is funny because it's not even a mailbox there I'm uh, probably dropping off a package yeah. that's it I don't have anything else to say other than how beautiful my wife is. Pointed like way over off to the side.